it's a it's a new movie week. Yeah. You know, it, it, yeah, we're doing movie reviews. This is so much fun. This is this is like becoming our job. It's, it's kind of crazy. Is. I awesome. love it. It's awesome. I love it. So this week we got first man. Yep. You know what you clicked on? Yeah. Excuse me. I I don't know why it's Taco Bell. It it, it just gets to the rumblies. <laughs> anyway, so uh, here we go. So we got Matt. first man. I mean, you guys know the story, really. Uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth onto this, just because we want to make it a shorter video. So first man, it's it's literally the f story of the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. It's his not full life story, obviously. Ten years. But ten it's years. about ten years, uh, including the the actual launch Everything. and yeah. landing on the moon and all that. The whole one one small step from man. One giant leap for mankind. Yep. Love that. I love that line. The, the, like, that's just, can we just talk about how good a line that is? How fucking awesome that is that that was, that came up on the fly? Damn that was it. dope. The man's so, good at good it. Good job, man. Neil. So, but yeah, I digress. So, it, it covers a lot of the lead up to the actual launch and landing on the moon. Yep. So, there's a lot of family stuff, a lot of... The basically the bad stuff that happened beforehand, because if you know anything about it, a lot of people died to to get there. To get there, yeah. Like, what was it like? I think they showed what, like six people, at like, least six at people, at least six astronauts yeah. in the movie on died. on the on screen. On too. screen, yeah. So, yeah, they they there was other off screen too, and it was it's it's a rough movie. It's it's not a feel good movie. No, because you kind of see what actually happened. And yeah, all that. And they definitely they definitely. Yeah, so uh, a lot of this, a lot of the things that are covered too is like the family stuff that happens, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll we'll cover that more later on. So, so yeah, what do you like? What just you get into the likes. So straight to your likes. The sound design and music and score and all that, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. There's a shot when they land on the moon, it's facing Neil Armstrong because he's about to walk out. Mm -hmm. And it turns out as the capsule opens, all you hear is the oxygen come out of the capsule and then nothing. Pure silence. Yep. Like even the radios cut out and yeah, everything. And it's just dead. so good. So good. Yes. Absolutely. Uh and sticking with sound, the music cues. Yep. Which we both kind of looked at each other. He said it first, and I'm like, Yeah, you're hundred percent right. Yep. Which is very rare. <laughs> I mean, it, it's true. It's I don't get a hundred percent a lot. Yeah, no, I get like seven, this was a hundred percent. I'm at like seventy. So the music okay. cues. There's, for instance, there's a scene where they connect with one of the out, like unmanned parts of the rocket. Yep. They connect with it, and right as the connection made, a music cue hits. Yep. Like the music just starts playing. It's it's amazing. Like, wow, we did it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yep. 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 All that kind of stuff. So. We said we both said to each other, "That's got to be a nod to Kubrick, yeah. to 2001: A Space Odyssey, because yeah. they, it was it was awesome. It was really cool. For sure. So, yeah. Um, did I write anything up? Now I wasn't 100 percent sure on this, and I didn't mention it on our first take, but maybe someone that. can confirm this. Maybe someone can confirm this. Let us know down in the comments. Um. Were the original, like, radio chatter and radio transmissions used at all in this? Because I feel like they did. If I'd not, no. if not, then props to them because they made it sound, like, really old and realistic. I said no. Yeah. I I'm not 100% either, but I wrote it down either way because being professional, I got notes. <laughs> I just so, memorized mine. I had yeah. a notepad too, but I memorized yeah. what I liked. It but was, I'm I mean, just, I'm just going from... Matt, Matt stole all my likes. Yeah. You guys... You know, the way it works in this channel is it's yeah. very, very simple. Yeah, it's <laughs> usually like if of one of us stuff. likes the same thing, the other's like, asshole. Yeah. Whoever goes first <laughs> is just like, and yeah. whoever goes second is like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So <laughs> um, was there anything else you did like? Uh, my, my favorite thing about this whole movie is I know it's the length of nine years, but the everything that's in space... I loved. Yeah. The, Everything that was in space and shot yeah, the, in space. The, the visuals was great. and cinematography. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like he said the already. Yeah. But I'm just saying that was probably my favorite <laughs> aspect in the whole movie. Yeah, so I mean with that, that's pretty much what we liked the most about the movie. Yep. So 
I think we disliked a little bit more. Oh, yes. So, why don't you go ahead and talk about the IMAX thing? Um, boy, oh boy, you know, I get really excited for IMAX movies. Yeah. And so you know, well. recently in the last three or four years, um, we've gotten to be able to see more IMAX movies, and that's just because we now have an IMAX. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's awesome. Um, but there's a part where it's about to start the movie and it gives you a countdown. It's like be a part or watch a movie or be a part of it. Or, yeah. you know, some it's kind the of whole slang. IMAX selling yeah. spiel before the movie. So, usually, if it's not shot for IMAX, it's the wide shot. It's yeah, the it's widescreen wide shot. So, it's just, you know, like that. Yeah. That's, you, you know, it's like watching a widescreen movie. Yeah. It's not the whole screen. It's, you know, the bars. Yeah. But when it's shot in the IMAX, IMAX it's yeah. the whole thing. Uh, yeah. You get full so, screen. At a certain number, it go either stays widescreen switches. or switches, and it switched. And I yeah. looked at Matt. I was like, "Oh, we're gonna get something we like get that. We get it. We get something in IMAX." And I was like, "Great, awesome." The shot. There's only one. Yeah, there's literally only one it's, IMAX shot, and it's what we already mentioned that shot out into the nothingness it's of space. Great. It is a great, great, great shot. But don't tell me I'm getting an IMAX movie. Yeah. When it's what, something that's actually 30 shot seconds. in IMAX. Yeah. So. Like, that's the thing I love about Marvel is if they say, guess what, you're getting an IMAX movie. It's shot in IMAX. You're getting an IMAX movie. Yeah. So, but besides that, that's the IMAX thing. Yeah. Kind of pissed me off, but it was. But like, it was such a good shot. shot it was kind of worth it yeah. in the end. All right. Uh, next up, the acting. It was, it was iffy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the actors are great. Yeah, actors did great They, they did great, it just, it didn't feel, it didn't flow right. It didn't feel natural, Yeah, is what he's trying to say. Yeah. It didn't feel like, you know, guys that have been working together for eight years. Yeah. You're gonna have some kind of a... A flow. A flow together. Yeah. Like, we've been best friends for three, two years, and... Yeah. We're, we work together. We work together, and you guys know we're literally off each other's page. Yeah. But that's what I'm like, saying. Like, I'm holding this and he's reading off basically what it is without actually looking. So it's what amazing. I'm saying is it doesn't, it mad. didn't flow. <laughs> and that was a negative. It didn't, yeah. they didn't feel like friends and they yeah. didn't feel like coworkers. Yeah. Like, for instance, one of the, one of the things that I always kind of gripe me, I always like Buzz Aldrin more. Yeah. Honestly. Because, I mean, his name's fucking Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Lightyear. Not actually Buzz. It's like Edwin or something like that. Buzz is so Buzz much cooler. Lightyear. And yeah, he inspired Buzz Lightyear. He, that's the inspiration behind the toy. Yep. So, it's weird because he only had like two scenes throughout the entire movie until they were in the rocket. Yeah. He was obviously more a part of the rocket stuff for sure. Yeah. But I just feel like there was a lot left out from Buzz's side too. I would have liked to see that because, yeah, Neil was yeah. the first to step on the moon. But there was two other people up there with him. Yeah, he didn't do it all alone. Yeah, so there was a but, lot of people that... But I'm saying, or what he's trying to say is, you know, Buzz, yeah. Buzz kind of took a backseat. But yeah. again, we're, the movie is focusing on... On Neil. Neil. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of a negative. It's more negative in my book than positive. Because, I mean, yeah, it's it's focused on Neil. I understand that. But I would have liked to see a little but, more Buzz. But can you really put that as yeah. a negative being that... It is. That, that's where I'm, I'm kind of debating. A on, Neil so. movie. Yeah. Because I feel uh, I thought they were more friends, <laughs> but in, that's the other thing in this movie. Nobody seems like friends. Yeah, they seem honestly like. <laughs> Buzz seemed like a dick. Everybody seemed like a dick. Yeah, Neil seemed like a dick. They, it, it was weird. That's one of the other things I didn't like is. Nobody got along. Yeah. So that that also leads into the ending of the movie that I didn't like. So obviously. We'll have before this whole video even started a spoiler warning. No. Just in case. No. No. Just no. do it. Just do it. So, yeah. So the ending, it's... We're in, we're in space. We're, we're on the moon. It cuts to black. That's where it should have ended. That's where I... I was literally about yeah. to, like, stand yeah, up. Yeah, we were getting ready to stand up because the credits were... We were expecting Ooh. the credits to roll. Nope. But then it leads up to getting back to Earth. And it's Quite it's not even like yeah it's not even like oh they're actually launching back off and then landing on yeah, Earth and that you, whole landing oh, back. yeah oh it's like a week later they're back what 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 a month later month later whatever 
I don't know. But they, they're just back on Earth. They're in quarantine. Yeah. And then there's there's this like whole thing with Neil and his wife where like they're be, they're separated by glass due to the quarantine. They do the whole hands on the glass type of thing. They don't even say a word. Yeah, they don't say a word. It just the relationship doesn't feel like it deserves the, that ending moment. Yeah. I feel like being out in space that should have been the end. But I don't know. It's it's a, it's a big negative for me cuz it yeah. just it just kind of threw it off. It it seemed like something that could easily have been cut out. Yeah. But so and being that this movie is 2 hours and 21 minutes yeah, it's with a whole movie. 26 minutes of trailers. Yeah. It's freaking insane. We sat down at 7.15 almost exactly, and <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we got out until almost 10. 26 minutes of trailers. Can we get a guy to be like, you're getting three trailers per movie? Yeah, can, can, we, we, can, we, can we cut can some we, of those down? Yeah, we don't need six. I yeah. don't need eight trailers. I'm and, sorry, I don't. Yeah, it's weird. But, and all of them I've seen before. Yeah. But anyway, back to the movie. So well, one of the other things we didn't mention was the pacing of the movie. Oh, God. So... Overall, I'd, I'd say the pacing was good for, for 10 years, but how they actually put that 10 years together, Yeah. because the first like five years is in the first 30 minutes of the movie. Jumpy as yeah. hell. The first 30 minutes is extremely, blah. It's, yeah. surprise, you're done. Yeah. Wait, what? It's really, it's really weird. And it does not open up nice. Yeah, it's, it's sad. Think up. It's sad. It's a but, yeah. real rough start to a movie after that though the pacing of like the actual build-up to getting onto the moon is good the third act is yeah. where it picked up yeah for sure and the third act is where it picked so, up so we, we we did kind of forget to mention that so i apologize so zach what's your score great movie overall it's a great movie um it's a great biopic yeah it's it's, it's a very good it's biopic. not say the thing darkest out you know it's not a movie I'm gonna be like, oh my Oops. god, that was freaking great. Yeah. I mean, the sh the shots in space again were yeah. my favorite parts. Overall, the movie's good. The movie's a great story, and yada yada yada. I'm gonna go with a seven. Really? Honestly, I, I'm, mine's gonna be considerably higher than that. So I like, I knew there, there were several. There were several. I knew like, it was. Yeah, I'm, but that's because I'm more of the history kind of person too. I'm, so you just you don't care about it that much. Unless it's a war movie, it's not gonna grab me. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a great movie overall. Definitely go see it. Uh, honestly, I think it it will get nominated oh, for that's... Best, best Picture and stuff, but I don't think it's going to win. I that think was... it's going to be like Darkest Hour. It's it's going to be nominated for a lot of stuff, but like maybe one win. That like was... the sound design probably. That was one win. thing that I forgot to mention. They're saying this is like Ryan Gosling's best performance. I don't, I, I don't like think it so. Is. Yeah, but uh, it's kind of weird, so... Yeah, so with that, that's, Zach, you know what to do. All right, guys, you guys know what time it is. It's time to, if you're not a part of Team Average, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why do you do that? You become part of the family. We love you guys, and we want you to become part of Team Average. And after that, you're going to smash the like button. It lets us know that you like what we are doing here. After that, you're going to go into the comments section. Did you like it? Did you see it? Are you going to see it, or did you not see it? What? I need to know. I need to know what you think of this. And after that... Hit the share button. Go share it with your friends, your family, your cousins, your nephews, your whoever. I don't care. Share it everywhere. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Share it on... What else is there? I don't know. Reddit. Um, Reddit. Share it everywhere. Share it. Share, 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 share. Smash the share button and it just helps us out. It helps Team Average grow. We're still small, but we're going to keep going, guys. Also, turn on that notification bell. I almost forgot to mention it, but turn on that notification bell. That way, we do not get lost in your feed, and it lets you know when our videos are just like that. After that, that's it. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!